Welcome to a brand new game for the channel, the FIA European Truck Racing Championship game. Now today's video is actually sponsored by Big Ben, the guys who actually make this game, so huge props to them for hooking us up with the game and making today's video possible. So today we're going to be jumping into the game, checking out the career, there's a bunch of other really cool challenges, a bunch of trucks and a bunch of really cool race tracks as well for us to rip around in some mega mega huge trucks. However, if you'd like to check this game out for yourself, there will be a link down below. The game is available now, and if truck racing is your thing, click the link in the description. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into the game. Welcome to the Truck Racing Championship. If you'd like to work your way up to the top and battle it out for truck racing's top prize, head over to Career. Create your driver, and we can get your journey started. Otherwise, you can explore some of the other modes available. Like I was saying, building your character in any racing game just makes the game so cool. I absolutely love it. Helmet number six? Sure, we'll take it. Great. Let's get your career started. This is the Career Hub. Here, you will be able to choose whether you'd like to take part in the European Truck Racing Championship or the World Series. Before choosing, you'll need to get a license. So head over to License to get one. So now at the beginning of this video, I did actually say this game is called the FIA European Truck Racing Championship. However, it actually has the World Series. If I go over to the tracks that are actually in the game, you will notice that some of these tracks aren't actually in Europe. We've also got a hometown favorite of mine, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. I don't actually know another video game that has this track in it, so... Nicely done. Anyways, just a little interesting thing I noticed. It's called the European truck racing game, but has a little bit more than just Europe in the game. So now I've actually already come into this game already, and I've done some of the licenses, just some of the basic ones. Some of them are just as simple as drive in a straight line. Some of them are as basic as just stop. Some of them go through some zigzags. Anyways, I've left it on this test, test number six. Now here's something really, really cool about racing trucks in real life that I had no idea was a thing. Obviously, these trucks are huge. They are massive. They weigh five tons. Getting something that big and heavy to stop, you obviously need some very big and beefy brakes, which obviously the trucks have. However, these truck brakes get so hot, all of these racing trucks have a water system on board that you can activate, which shoots water onto the brakes to cool them down and you can actually do that in the game as well. So when I press the A button, you will see water go all over the brakes and all over the wheels of the car. On this particular test, if the brakes go over a thousand degrees, I fail. So now, like I was saying, these racing trucks are big and they are massive and they are very difficult to drive around. However, in this game, I don't know what it is, but these, these trucks feel very nimble you will notice that i slide them around a lot in this game and it is awesome so i should probably explain what's going on on the screen so obviously in the bottom right we've got your usual speedometer that's all standard but next to that you'll see a thing that says water you'll see front left front right rear right rear left those are the tire temperatures and the brake temperatures on the truck now if they go over a thousand degrees in this test i fail so when they start to heat up I press the A button, and all of that around the wheels of the truck is water that I am shooting onto the brakes. It is so sick as we get a huge slide out of the truck, but you can full on see when I'm putting water down onto the brakes to cool them. So here we're getting them super hot, 400 degrees. If I press A and shoot some water down, 200 degrees just like that. It's super cool, and it's something I've never seen before. And to be honest, something I didn't even know was an actual thing in real life. I feel like it's gonna make- uh, that was a silver, by the way, we got on that particular test. But it didn't do super well, but we can do a little bit better. We've got some braking tests now. Anyways, I don't know what, like, our- our area is for cool brakes, but we'll get some- What? Brakes too cold? It actually says up in the top left, keep your brakes between 250 and 500 degrees. Okay. So I'm really going to need to balance the braking with the water. It's going to make things really, really difficult. 
I gotta watch that bottom right hand corner of the screen like crazy. Yo, I hate the slide out of the trucks. They make me so nervous, man. There we go. We're good. 300 degrees. Get around the corner. Yo, we're never gonna need to do this in a race. We're never gonna need to be this like pedantic about our thing. Bronze! That was really close, but I'll take the bronze medal. That was a hard challenge. Anyways, we've only got a couple more challenges left to go. We've been banging out golds on nearly all of them. Six more challenges to go, and then we get our license and can officially start up our career mode. Well, just like that, ten minutes later, we have completed all of the license tests, banged out gold on the majority of them, and now we can go and do our thing. I think I really, really want to do the World Series. I want to drive on the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. So, in this game, we've actually got full practice, full qualifying. You can go and do 100% race distance if you really want to. I'm gonna chuck it on only 25% though. And the AI, we've got a couple of different options. We got professional, intermediate, and beginner. I think I'll go intermediate for now and we'll see how it goes. This is the dashboard, where you'll be spending your time in between races. The garage is where you'll repair parts and upgrade them to increase performance or make them last longer. Head on over to the calendar to proceed to your first race. This right. is the calendar. Here you can view the upcoming race weekends. Choose from one of the available weekends to get your racing career started. All right, I guess we're gonna head over here. We've got practice at Winton Motor Raceway. So I've got this truck. This is my Western Star. This is a big old truck with a big old diesel stack. Uh, uh, if, if you're in America, this is probably the type of truck you see on the road. Anyway, so this is practice. So we've got to rip it around our Winton Motorsports track. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a lap time that we're trying to go for or anything. I don't have a team contract yet. I don't know where I'm gonna be racing or anything like that. Anyways, I must say, just on the surface, and only playing this game for a little bit so far, I, I really like two things. One, all the different tracks they have. It is amazing, the variety. They have tracks that I have legit- Ah, No! Western Star! Get out of it! Two, there are a bunch of different trucks in this game. There's actually 45 trucks from a bunch of different manufacturers. We will jump into those at some point soon when I when I jump into the quick play stuff because we'll, we'll, we'll do some career races, but I also want to jump on some specific tracks in some specific trucks, but we'll see how our first lap is here with, uh, with, with, with quite the spin. I must say I love the way these cars handle, trucks handle. In this game, like you would think, oh, a big truck, 5,000 or 5 tons, a thousand horsepower. It would be kind of boring to drive and sluggish and slow and blah, blah, blah. They've made it so it doesn't feel that way. We're only doing 100 kilometers an hour. It feels like there's more going on than there actually is. On first impressions, very, very cool, must admit. I'm also starting to, uh, to run out of water for my old brakes. That's not very good. Gotta be a little bit more conservative with my water. Don't spin. Thank you. Let's get to the line. Bang in our much improved lap time. Actually, we'll ditch all our water now. This is gonna be our last lap. And there we go. A 142. So if I now go to main menu, I think that's what I need to do. I don't know. Has that worked? That was not what I needed to do. Well, okay, we'll pretend we've done that and we're gonna These go to our contacts. race weekend. Each team has different standards and requirements, so they all offer different contracts. You'll need to meet their objective if you want to earn reputation. Now, take a look at each contract and choose the one that appeals to you the most. We've got a couple of different contracts to go and choose from. Uh, these three, we've got Maple Leaf truck team i better be in a bright red and white truck i'm just saying this is awesome it's like it it's it just it immerses you into it we're racing it's at mazda laguna second now if you get through qualifying you go to the super pole otherwise it's straight to the race so i don't know what that is but if i go to rules oh there's a lot of rules in here Oh, you got tuning. You can tune everything that you want as well. So there was something about a super pole. I don't know what a super pole is, but we'll try to figure it out, I guess, and see what that means. But anyways, we've got two laps of this, I believe. And if I can send something quite quick, I, I, I go off. 
to the Super Pole, which should hopefully be good. Alrighty, so Mazda Laguna Seca, let's rip it around and absolutely fly around here as I'm already setting the brakes on fire. My bad. I'm seriously loving the way these things handle. Serious? Uh-oh. They are so satisfied. Oh, that nailed the braking point. Absolutely nailed it down there. All right, well, first lap is already going to be in the books. Nicely done, Western Star. We set a, a 151. I, I don't know if that's any good for a racing truck. We'll figure it out pretty soon, I have a feeling. We'll see what the game says in terms of our qualifying. I set a 149 on our second lap there. That's not bad. That's first place! I'm off to the Super Pole! Well done on making it through to the Super Pole. You're going to be placed between first and tenth on the grid. Okay. Continue your good form into this session and achieve a high starting position. Ah, so it's like, it's like a, a, a best of qualifying it's like a q2 i got it all right just don't stuff it up and we will be good i will say one thing that i wish this game did is when you drove on the curb i wish it vibrated the controller more like if i come through the corner here and i got tires on the curb i wish it absolutely shook the living hell out of the controller it vibrates for sure when you're driving over them just not as much as you would really expect i said a 150 not that quick apparently much quicker than everybody else so apparently we're starting from the front wait wait we got rolling starts in truck ra that's pretty cool didn't know that was a thing all right so we're gonna need to watch out for everybody see how it goes there's our big wang friend over there number 88 got a lot of people behind and we're gonna get going he's got the inside line right off the start i wow, he all right buddy I, I see how it is. Apparently, truck rip. Truck rip. Oh, my God. Truck racing is a contact sport. All right. So, we need to get away from everybody is what I've figured out so far. These AI like to crash into each other and me. A a a as per my right-hand side fender. If we can keep it clean, though, keep it smooth, keep it on the road... We should have no trouble, he says as he's drifting. There's something so satisfying about whipping them around. Oh my god, okay, we're all over the place again. Yo, look how hot they all come into the corner. And you see everybody else shooting their water too. That's so sick. So I don't know what happens if you run out of water, but I kind of want to find out. So I'm kind of just holding it down i want to i want to empty it i want to see what happens i assume if you run out of water your brakes are just gonna overheat water tank is empty we are officially out of water so now we can't we can't put any water on them so i think we're gonna have a lot of trouble slowing down like i said probably would have been able to keep it on the circuit um if i had some brakes because my truck's just not slowing down. 800 degrees again in the front. That's insane. Slam on him again. Oh, this time we're really not stopping. Oh, <laughs> yo. That, yep. I think there was a thousand degrees there. Anyways, three laps later. Laguna Seca, you've These been defeated. Results. Yo, I like it. Oh, there's my dude. Oh, can he rock a sick dab? Are there emotes in this game? I'm just saying, if not, that's a missed... <laughs> Miss feature. You're now one of the elite drivers on the grid. You'll begin to receive contracts from the top teams now. I like it. One race and the top teams are already coming running. Well, let's put a pause in our career mode and go check out some of the other stuff that's in the game. So solo, we've got a bunch of cool things. We've got quick race, championship, time trial, event, weekly events. Nice. Multiplayer, we've got split screen. We've got quick races online. We can search for specific stuff. I like it. We could go make our own. We need to go and do a quick race because I need to drive my hometown track. So, World Series, let's go with, uh, uh what type of truck? Maple Leaf Truck Team? Do I want to drive another one of their trucks? I guess. We'll be the Canadian boys on the Canadian Motorsports Park track. All right, so starting positions, chuck me at the back. AI difficulty. We'll chuck them on hard this time. Speed limiter, turn that off. We don't need that. So usually they max out at 160 kilometers an hour. Ah, we don't need that. Definitely not. All right, so there we are in the great white north. I like it. So you, you might be um, uh, uh, surprised to find out. 
I don't actually know my way around this circuit. So, uh, we're gonna need to cross fingers. We're jumping straight into the race on hard difficulty. And, uh... I'm gonna need to figure out whether I'm turning left, right, or going straight, or slowing down. I don't really know what to expect, but hopefully we will figure it out. Hopefully, we will not get absolutely wrecked. But let's go, Maple Leaf Truck Team. We got this. Everybody is running away. We will try to keep up with them and keep it clean for the most part. You can see everybody's shooting their water already. Some people off the track, I like it, using all of the road. All right, this is very cool. Brakes are overheating. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the only acceptable response when you are driving on the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. I like it. So now usually they said the trucks are limited to 160. Nah. What? I, I have a feeling I turned the speed limiters on the truck off, but I didn't turn the speeding penalties off. My bad. <laughs> All right, lads, out of the way. I'm sorry. I am coming through in the great red machine. I still don't need to break. This thing is incredibly quick. No, I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it. No, revert. How do you, there, there, reverse. How do you spin out a racing truck? Guys, I've had another problem. All right, could we please okay, not screw it up this time? All right, we... If you see an opening, that was a full-on pit maneuver, bro. I'm just saying I thought this was Canada. I thought we would all be very polite to each other. We'd be all good, but no. Now we're just pit maneuvering each other. By pit maneuvering each other, I mean... I, I may have pit maneuvered myself, but... Don't worry about it. It's all good. Apologies. Many apologies. No, not again. This, this track, this track does not like me. We'll try a different one. We're doing one lap of Fuji Speedway, starting from the back. Can we get a dub? All right, are you ready to go? We've now joined the Big Wang Gang, and we are gonna see how we do. We've got this. Come on, buddy. Now here's the problem with racing at Mount Fuji. You need to always resist the urge. I, I was about to say drift, but I mean just send it up the inside and go from last to seventh in one corner. Okay, then. Look at that, though. That's sick. Every... Oh! Ah! All right, you know what? We're going to go with a European truck because I, I, I... It's the name of the game. We've got this. Let's go, um, where are we gonna go? Slovakia ring? I've never heard of it before, but sure. Yo, we got a pace truck. Yo, that's sick. The pace truck is going into the pits, and we are gonna get ready to go in our... Don't actually know what type of truck this is, but it looks cool. Hey, we're racing the Mercedes racing truck. All right, we'll get him. Yo, that pace truck looks sick. We're doing 165. 170 kilometers an hour as we slam on the brakes. Everybody's brakes are gonna overheat. Look at all the water going. All right. Yo, look at us go. 155. AI has nothing on our cornering speed here. Yeah, someone's, someone's caught on fire and or using the water. All right, come on. We're doing well. We're doing well. Why is it every time? Every time I try to say something nice. I managed to spin out. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to take it slow and steady. That's how we're gonna get our dub today. Uh, somehow the AI has decided- No, 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 no! Every goddamn time! Oh. Well, I think to save my own sanity, that is where we're gonna wrap this up for today. If you enjoyed it, like I said, go check out the game. The link is in the description down below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. See you then. Bye!